and their communities may have challenges. And this is what, where we have co-impact sourcing is really combining the supply chain with some humanitarian relief efforts. So on the supply chain, it's things like we've talked about, ensuring the quality, making sure we control the, the, the supply and the quality, and we have this long-term partnership. But then we, on the humanitarian side, we're reaching into these communities and we're relieving suffering and giving dignity and hope and ending these cycles of poverty in these communities that become extremely important. And that's what co-impact sourcing means. What it really means is, if you look in the world today, um, Harvard Business Review's talked a lot about creating shared value, okay? So it's, it's valuable for doTERRA because, because we need this supply and we need it long term. But it's valuable for them because we're a trusted partner that they can trust and they can work with. So it's the shared value process that is so extremely, extremely important. So in the areas where there is a need to help in the community, where there's some poverty, we add these additional steps to our guiding principles, where we ensure fair labor conditions so that we don't have unethical child or slave labor or, or a lot of these issues that are really a challenge in the world. We, we promote cooperatives so the farmers are working together because collectively, let me give you an example. In Africa, I was in Africa a few months ago and going back, we have a lot going on there. And, and in, in Kenya, we were talking to these farmers and in, and in Africa, 85% of the farmers farm five acres or less. Okay, so only 15% of the land is controlled by large-scale farmers. In the United States, 96% of the land is controlled by large-scale farmers, which is great. They do a great job. Right? America is great. We got a peppermint from America. It's wonderful, right? But when you go into Africa and you want oils that are unique to Africa, you have to work with this network of lots of small growers and help them improve their lives. And we, we are very cognizant of the environment. We want it, we work so much so, I could get into huge detail with this, but so much so that we're talking about, so it's sustainable. So that as, as oils are produced, you take the plant matter, you put it in a, in a distillation facility, and you heat it, is what usually happens with water. And you heat it, and then the oil will, will separate out. The, the gases come up in the, the oil, the, Anyway, and then it separates, okay, through this condenser. <laughs> this whole unit. You go through this process, but then you end up with this huge biomass. And what are you doing with that, right? It can be used as a fertilizer. It can be used as a heat source. It can be used as a, as a source to provide the heat necessary to get the oil to release from the plants. And so we find sustainable ways to be able to make sure that we're not harming the environment. And, and we're facilitating community development. These final four, four parts are really part of what co-impact sourcing is all about. We've even turned it into a scorecard where our team, we have a team of people who go around the world and they work with these growers and they work on a scorecard and they make sure that, you know, that labor's happening appropriately, that, that everyone's getting paid appropriately and that everything's working the way it should. So it's a very, very detailed process. And, and right now we have these we have these co-impact co-impact initiatives where we're working with the growers and the communities in, in in all of these places in Haiti, in Guatemala, in Jamaica, in Paraguay, Kenya, Madagascar, Somalia, India, Nepal, and Bulgaria. We have a lot of these initiatives happening, and many many more of them that are planned. I want to give you a sense of, of what, what's happening is that when we begin to talk about this now, the world is beginning to take notice. Here's a, here's a Forbes article that was recently written about doTERRA. doTERRA reinvents the supply chain for impact on poverty. And it's a story, it's a story that's talking about the story that's talking about the amazing good that's happening in the world. I was at a meeting uh, just a few weeks ago uh, uh, on Africa, where there were many people doing business in Africa. I was talking about what we were doing in Kenya, 
and, and people were just amazed. And they came up and they're, how are you doing this? What's happening? This is the greatest story. Why does no one know about this? I'm like, well, our wellness advocates know about it. We don't really care what everyone else thinks. But, but the, world, the world is beginning to take notice about, about what's really happening here. And it's really remarkable. Um, you know, to give